In this lecture, we're going to discuss the Lorentz equation. We're going to state what it is, and then we're going to look at an example. So what exactly does the Lorentz equation tell us? Well, the Lorentz equation, which is given by the following equation, which we'll talk about in just a moment, essentially describes the magnitude of net force that acts on a moving electric charge that is in the presence of a magnetic field B as well as an electric field E. So let's suppose we have the following charge Q which is moving with the velocity V in the positive direction along the x-axis. Now this charge is in the presence of a magnetic field given by B as well as an electric field E that is not shown. So let's suppose we have these two fields in this region. Now let's calculate the net force that acts on our charge. So if we neglect any type of gravitational force, the net force acting on our charge is simply equal to the electric force, the force as a result of the electric field, and the magnetic force, the force acting on the charge as a result of a magnetic field B. Now by definition, our electric force is given by taking the product of our charge Q and the electric field E. And likewise, by definition, the magnetic field is taking the product of the charge Q and the cross product of the velocity vector V and our magnetic field vector B. Now notice both of these terms have a common quantity. That quantity is given by Q. So if we take that Q out of our equation, we get the following equation. So the net force acting on our electric charge that is moving through an electric field E and a magnetic field B is given by the following equation. We take the product of the charge Q and the sum E plus the cross product of V and B. So this equation is commonly known as the Lorentz equation. Now let's look at the following example in which we're going to apply the Lorentz equation. Equation. So, suppose a proton with a charge of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs moves through a region of space where the magnetic field is 0.5 teslas and the electric field is 1.0 times 10 to the 5 volts per meter. Now if the proton has a velocity of 6 times 10 to the 6 meters per second and the velocity vector is perpendicular to our magnetic field vector B, in other words, the angle is 90 degrees, find the net force acting on the proton, so we apply this equation. So we state this equation, now notice by definition of the vector product or the cross product, the cross product of V and B is equal to the product of the magnitude of V, B and sine of the angle theta between these two vectors. Now the angle between these two vectors is 90 degrees and sine of 90 is equal to 1. So this equation simply becomes force is equal to Q multiplied by E plus V multiplied by B. Now, Q is equal to this quantity, E is equal to this quantity, V is equal to this quantity, and B is equal to 0.5 Teslas. So we multiply, take the sum, and multiply by the charge on our proton, and we find the force is about 4.96 times 10 to negative 13 newtons. So this is the net force acting on our positively charged electric charge, the proton, as a result of the electric force as well as the magnetic force.